Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going lovely. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are using a die that I just picked up from the Simon Says Stamp Shop. This is called, it's from MFT, it's dynamic, and it is called the Love Speech Bubbles. They are itty bitty. They're smaller than an inch for each of them. Um, it looks like they're all in one die, but you can actually separate them. There's four speech bubbles in total. We're gonna use pattern paper today. I'm using a six by six paper pad called Spring Fling. This is from Honey Bee Stamps. Um, love the bright colors in here. We're gonna use this little heart um, pattern paper along with some two-tone pattern papers. We're gonna use a green and then also this blue looks great. So we're gonna jump in and do some die cutting. Um, we're going to take our little dies out of our package and we're going to bring in one more orange piece of pattern paper and then also some white cardstock. We're going to die cut out three of the largest speech bubbles um, with these three pattern papers, kind of like the tone on tones. Um, the smallest one's just a little too itty bitty. I, I like trios of things, so we're not going to use the smallest one in this set. Um, I'm just going to keep the die together. You can separate them if you want. Um, it'll separate into four different parts, but I'm going to keep them together. It's easy to create three different colors using pattern paper. I just trimmed down some small squares and laid them on top of the heart. Um, I want to call them a heart, but there's little hearts inside the speech bubble. I laid them on top of each one of the speech bubbles, and then we're going to run these through the die cutting machine. So we should have three pattern papers with small speech bubbles. So fun and so cute. <laughs> um, I thought this, these would, were so cute. I thought they would make a perfect get well card. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm also going to die cut them out with some white card stock. Um, and then we're going to do a flip flop. We're going to take the white speech bubbles and put the printed pattern paper hearts on the inside. And then we're going to take the pattern paper bubbles, and put the white hearts on the inside. So we'll have six speech bubbles in total. We'll set our uh, die cut machine aside and bring in the paper trimmer. We're going to trim down some of these pattern papers. Um, I wanted to create a four, um, a four square background using it. So to do that, I trim my paper um, at the, just less than two inches. I slightly go um, before the two inch mark just because, um, for good measure, just so it's evenly balanced on an A2 size panel. We're, we're going to need two of these patterns. And then I'll take that same green that we use with the heart speech bubble in the blue and we'll trim these down to um, some rectangle panels as well. Just slightly um, less wide than two inches and then they are two and a half inches tall. So I have my card base, it's a top folding, um, a two size card base. We'll adhere our heart pattern in the top left here. I'm not gonna press down really good yet. I'm gonna evenly space them. This one's gonna go in the bottom right corner and then we'll add our blue pattern paper. Our blue pattern paper is going to go in the bottom left here. And then our green will go on the top. And just make sure you evenly space them for a nice white border around each of them. Now, we're, since we are going to inlay um, our, our little hearts, to do that we're going to need some extra pieces of cardstock behind these speech bubbles. So I'm just taking a circle punch. I actually have two smaller sizes. Um, this, the half inch punch I'll use for the smallest um, speech bubble and then the other one's like a probably a three quarter inch circle punch. I'm not sure of the size but it's from Fiskars. You don't have to use a circle punch to do this but I found it super easy. I just add adhesive over the top of those circles, add the speech bubble over the top of those and then this way on the inside of the heart, there's tackiness. We can just use our jewel or craft pick and pick up those hearts and inlay them. Makes it very, very easy. And plus we have that um, solid background to where if we wanna pop them up, which of course we do. <laughs> With foam adhesive, we're gonna go ahead and um, we have that extra um, cardstock behind there for extra stability. So six fun little pattern speech bubbles. Okay, for our sentiment, I'm bringing in a sentiment stamp set from Spellbinders. This is called the uh, S Essential Sentiments. We're going to be using some gray cardstock. We have some gray in those that heart pattern paper. So I just trimmed down a strip of, um, this might be uh, Moonstone cardstock. 
not moonstone um I, I don't remember my grays but i'll list it below um I'm treating my paper with my anti-static powder tool and I did choose the sentiment that says get well soon. We'll ink that up with Versamark ink and then we'll bring in some white embossing powder and go over the sentiment. Now I like to stamp in the corner um, with my sentiments that are long like this um, because it's easier for me to get a straight um, blocked sentiment when I use my paper trimmer. So we'll just trim this down and basically we just have to do one trim on the top and then one trim on the bottom right here and then our sentiments good to go this gray is slightly darker than the gray in the pattern paper but um, i wanted my white embossing powder to really stand out so that's why i went a shade darker i popped this up with some foam adhesive place that in the center and i just can't get it straight so we're, <laughs> we're going to try again and then on the two pattern tone on tone pattern papers that's where we're going to put um three of each of our speech bubbles there's three different sizes so we'll go three different um little heart speech bubbles and then um kind of alternating some have the white some have the the pattern paper in each one of these i'm using my journey glaze which is like a glossy accent um to go over my little hearts now i do this a lot um, because I love the effect that this gives and it, it creates a no shed glitter effect. Um, I like to take some chunky glitter. Um, this happens to be, I just picked this one up too. This is from Studio Katia and it's a, a, um, this is called chunky sparkle, but it's like a chunky iridescent glitter. Um, Spellbinders has some and it's called, um, Journey Sparkle, I believe. And then Avriel has some too, but, um. I'm just gonna tap off the excess so it just adheres to that journey glaze. And you guys are really gonna think I'm mad. Why is she just tapping it off on her craft desk? But that is because I have a new little toy, a little crafty toy. Um, and I'm excited. I was just, I thought I'd share it with you. Um, this is the little We Are Memory Keepers um, craft desk, the little vacuum. Love this. Oh my goodness. It comes packaged with that little clear tray um but it's meant to be thrown away but i kept the clear tray just so i can set it on it because there's bristles on the bottom of your vacuum and i was afraid the bristles might get um deformed so that little plastic tray will help but it just opens up to empty so you, i would suggest opening it up over a garbage can but um it works so fun it works so good it's picking up glitter it just you just go over it um your craft desk and it picks it right up. I was shocked and skeptical. I thought, okay, cause, cause trust me, those handheld vacuums sometimes, I had bought one for my car um, it, and it just didn't work. Um, sorry, it did not work for my car. <laughs> so I was skeptical about any cordless vacuum, but this was cute for craft desk guys. I wanted to know if it would pick up, um, sometimes I do die cutting with intricate dies and I usually just brush the um pieces on the floor i don't have to do that no more guys because this little vacuum will suck them right up <laughs> it's so cute cute is it's so and it's 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 small it fits in the palm of your hand and you can see it opens up very easy to to um empty and but i suggest maybe emptying it over a trash can but um isn't that adorable I'll list it down below it's just the cutest thing I just thought I would share that with you um, and then you know what the nice thing is guys too is um, I thought I would have to add batteries to it but it doesn't even need a battery I took this out of the package and started it up right away it actually has a lithium battery that's non replaceable I have to say that that's what it said on the package um, but it has a USB cord on the very top there's a little storage here you just slide it open and it has that little c-shape that it's it's you can put it in but isn't that so sweet you plug it up to your computer or um your usb port to charge it um i haven't charged mine yet and i've, I've used it quite a few times um but i thought i would share that i just think this is the cutest little thing <laughs> it's about three and a half inches wide three and a half inch circle so it's smaller than an A2 size card width wise so I thought I would share that with you just cute little vacuum gadget and I give it a thumbs up 
<laughs> but this is my card today, guys. I'll set that aside. Um, bring back my card here and I hope you enjoyed my get well project and thanks for bearing with me towards the end of the video have a fabulous day we'll see you next Tuesday for another try it out Tuesday thanks so much for stopping by we will see you again real soon bye bye